one. So, so this is working, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going. Sorry, just checking. So I just thought I would come back. Um, I'm going to do a bit more puzzle tonight out of my Raven's Merger Heavenly Sunset um, puzzle. So I just thought I would, I guess, come back and continue doing it whilst live whilst I'm doing it since I'm feeling okay to do that today. I hope you'll enjoy this um, video or, well, live stream. Um, Obviously, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them below. And yeah, I'm just going to get going on this. Um, I'm continuing with my Heavenly Sunset puzzle. I am hoping that the puzzle clarity is clearer than the other night, just because I know that it was a bit blurry, so I've had a play around with the focus and worked out that the focus with the webcam and the autofocus was the issue. So hopefully that's fixed now. But yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to do some puzzle here and I hope you'll join me and yeah, I look forward to seeing people as they join or whichever. It'll be fun. Two have just started watching. <laughs> Always good to see you. So if you're wondering the puzzle that I'm working on is Heavenly Sunset, the 18, or Paradise Sunset, the 18,000 piece. And I just dropped a puzzle piece on the floor. <laughs> oh, excuse me while I find it. There it is, right on the table. Ah. Gotcha. Tricky little blighters, those things when they fall. Yeah, I'm just having a relaxing evening doing a bit of puzzle.
place somewhere out there. So hello to you. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. to set up the webcam, the time lapse. Time lapse, time lapse, time lapse. Here we go. Okay. Settings, modify, GoPro. Time and connect on me. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Whoever's joined, welcome to the channel.
speaker. Hello to whoever has joined. Welcome to the channel.
Hello to observers joined, welcome to the channel, it's good to see you here. If you have any questions or anything, please, well, they've gone already, okay. People come, people go.
What you doing? Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Hope your day is going well or evening, whichever it is. I'm just waiting on some the uh, Rubens Verger Heavenly Sunset 18,000 piece bag A of the puzzle. Yeah. If you have any questions or anything feel free to ask or say what you're currently working on or whatever I'd always love to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to the next person that's doing too. Welcome to the channel. I hope you'll enjoy it. Enjoy my bit of work on the puzzle which I've got a completely bombshell puzzle table at the moment because it's completely messy and covered in puzzle pieces. <laughs> it's awful at the moment. And sometimes it gets confusing, but we do what we can do. Okay, where is this piece going? We do, we do what we can do. Why do you have to keep trying to spin her in the works puzzle? It does, it keeps throwing a spanner in the works. Completely bombshell puzzle table. Thank you. 
Yeah, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask or talk about or say what you're doing or anything, I would love to chat about it with you. I really hope you're having a good day.
Hello, welcome to the stream. Who's ever joined? Uh, happy to see you here. Hope you'll enjoy it and yeah, have fun. Yes, my puzzle table is a complete bombshell right now too. <laughs> Fair warning. There it is. Complete and utter bombshell. Got puzzle pieces all over the place. I mean absolutely all over the place. Because this bit kind of got me grinding my teeth, shall we say. It does. It's got me grinding my teeth. Because it's a bit harder than I thought it would be. There it is. Hope your day is going well anyway. I hope it is. I think these bits of trees and the temples trying to confound me with all the dark in it. <laughs> and the pattern and <laughs> everything else. Hence the explosion of puzzle pieces all over the place. I hope you're having a good evening anyway. Or a good day, or however it works, wherever you are. I really hope it's all going well for you. Love you. 
my dog's talking in the background. Yes. getting a bit stumped. Birdies, welcome to the channel. Who's ever joined? Happy to have you here, and I hope you enjoy it <laughs> as much as you can, anyway. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to answer. And yeah, <laughs> I hope you'll have fun here. Hello, Boo Boo. <laughs> I'm talking to my dog. If you're wondering, <laughs> you're already gone. <laughs> Oh, 
goes insane to be unusual. Here we go. And that boo. What you doing? What you doing, Nils? Hello. You got a toy, huh? You got your toy. You got your toy. Huh? He's got a toy. He's got a toy. He's got a toy. Come here, Boo Boo. Come on. Yes. What you doing? What you doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Nils. Hello. Hello, babies. Hello. Sorry, dog distraction. <laughs> you gotta love them. They know when they when you start to get frustrated or when you need a bit of lightning in the mood, don't they? <laughs> Dogs are amazing creatures. Well, pets in general are amazing creatures. <laughs> Lolo. Hello, Lulu. Hello. Oh, yes. You are gorgeous, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that distraction. <laughs> I think I'm making a bit of a progress looking from the distance on it, but yeah, it's taking a bit of time. Hello to whoever's, whoever's joined, welcome to the channel. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. My dog's just playing in the background. Bills, here you go. <laughs> she knows when I'm getting stressed and need to take a break or whatever. <laughs> I love Boo Boo. <laughs> Pets are always amazing creatures. Aren't ya? Aren't ya, Lil? Yes, you are. <laughs> they are amazing creatures. I'm sorry, I just quickly need to duck out to the necessities and I'll be back right in a minute. I will be. I'll be back right as soon as I put that piece in there. I'll be back in a minute. Just gotta go out to the necessities and I'll be back. I do. We'll be back in one minute or in a couple of minutes. Good girl. Got you.
myself and my crutches on the way up there. Whoever's joined. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask or Trevor, and I'm happy to answer as best I can. And yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope the focus is better today too. <laughs> yeah, I tried working on that. Last night, because I noticed it wasn't most brilliant, so I'm hoping it's better today. I am. Hoping it's better today. Oh. 
Who knows Lil's barking again? As always, every single time I'm doing something, it happens. <laughs> I should expect it by now. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Pretty much you've stopped in right at a time when the puzzle's playing difficult, difficult bugger on me. <laughs> You have, you timed it perfectly, right? And the puzzle was just going, no, nope, I'm not letting you get any more. You got a few pieces now. Now I'm gonna put you on hold. It is. I hope your trip goes well too, though, by the way. I hope you also got my message on Facebook because Ark's on sale as well. Ark Survival Involved is 80% off at the moment for summer for the main game and other parts that are on special as well. Just so you know. Be nice to me. Have you finished any more of that challenge puzzle yet? Out of curiosity? Nothing to kill a giant bug worth starting one's morning. <laughs> Good 
probably better that. Well, I don't know what's better than that. <laughs> yes, it would take the frustration out by killing a giant bug. That would be one thing. I guess it would. You might beat my record for the colour changing puzzle at this rate. You might, for how long it takes to finish the puzzle. <laughs> Just so you know, comment above that one. But yes. But yeah, Ark is on sale at the moment, so. <laughs> Thought I should let you know. In some aspect of the form of the manner of whatever. You can tell I'm not with it. <laughs> Uh, can you behave, puzzle? More like, can Lil's behave and stop barking? <laughs> oh. Don't mind me, I'm talking to myself. Got to keep yourself entertained somehow. You do? Gotta keep yourself entertained somehow in life. Even if it does make you sound like an insane crazy person. <laughs> Makes sense with taking a break and going to some smaller ones for the weekend. So that you feel like you've achieved a little more. Makes total sense. It does. Hang on, is that part of something down here? Eh, not the right colours. But yeah. Oh, where's my phone? Eh, it's on the charger somewhere. I don't know where. I was going to check Facebook, but it's like, no, nah, don't have the energy for <laughs> right this very minute. Uh, I'm pathetic. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. <sighs> Ain't that the truth to what? Pathetic being pathetic or <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> Just because the puzzles like to drive us bonkers. That's all. Just a little nuts. We just have to throw a little interest in the day, I guess. Stir us up a bit. At least I'm not the only one that talks to themselves when doing the puzzle. I'm not the only loony out there. <laughs> Can't you just be easy on your puzzle? No, obviously not. I do hope your trip away goes well though. I think somebody's just joshing with me. It lets me get a few pieces and then it throws it all out the window and goes, nope, you're not getting any more. I think something is. that nice of the puzzle yourself. <laughs> Why? What do you say to them then? You beat them up a little or something.
makes sense. I've done that. But it's worse when it actually fits the next time you try it. That's when it's worse. When you actually place it there thinking, that should fit there the first time, it doesn't fit. And the second time you go to place it there and it fits. And it's like, why did you not fit there the first time? You should have fit it there the first time. It is. These bits go somewhere up here. Don't drop pieces on the floor. Don't know how often that happens either. Hi to whoever's joined, welcome to the channel, or they've already left probably. <laughs> and sometimes a little too slow to get to them. Not being nice to me. Well, you don't probably don't really have much to ask Tracy because you've probably you already been talking to me for ages, so you already know the majority of stuff. You already do. Thank you. 
Okay. Well, hmm. Let's change the music quickly. Might help. And there goes the camera time lapse thing stopping. So better change that over. Yes, I better. So it's really stumping me tonight. Hmm. Okay. Quickly change the battery on the case. My puzzle tables are turned into a bombshell though, trying to work this out. I don't know if anyone else is able to keep their puzzle table neat, but mine always seems to end up like this no matter how many times I straighten it up. Yep, it's the 18,000 piece Paradise Sunset that I've shown you, Tracy. It is. This is bag A of that bag. It is. And I'm basically on the dark area with a lot of trees in the temple, so. Yes, it is a big one. Oh, it's Emma. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yes, it is a big one. It's the 18,000 Ravens Verger. So, but this is only the first section. I can't fit the full sections out on the floor at once. So, I'm basically set it up and I'm doing it on my puzzle table one section at a time. I am. And I'm time lapsing it at exactly the same time, which is why I was changing the camera. It is, but this is about 4,000 4, odd pieces for this one. It is, so a lot of work to it. Okay. No, not that. Wrong spot. I need to go into my settings. Connect the GoPro. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that, Emma. It's, <laughs> shall we say, 1,000 pieces are good in some ways because they're nice, they keep nice and simple and stuff like that. <laughs> and the others, and I'll see you later too, Tracy. Um, but basically, I like 1,000 pieces. I think I might do a few smaller ones. I'll see after this because this is my second 4,000 piece in a row. And honestly, they're very time consuming, the larger puzzles. They're fun, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they have you grinding your teeth like at this point in time with me. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a bummer when you aren't able to do larger ones and I hope you're able to do larger ones in the future. But at the same time... If you can only do 1,000 pieces, at least it's better than nothing. It is. So, yeah. And I had to, I did a special setup with the table board and stuff like that so that I could do such large puzzles because I got, as you can see, bung hand and wrist and bung foot and ankle and stuff and I could not do it on the floor for the life of me if I wanted to. So. Yes. Oh, that comes into it. I wonder if these pieces are somewhere over here. Yes, they are. Woohoo. Uh, 
Those pieces don't go there though. Boop, boop. Or maybe it's because they go a different way. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I haven't done that one. I um, I think I've seen it, but I haven't actually done the fine art ones yet. And I don't actually have any in my collection. I might have to look at that in the future because they seem interesting, but they're very difficult, obviously. As you just said, they're quite complex to do the fine art ones. So it would be interesting to try them and see just how hard they really are kind of thing, I guess. Getting myself into another trap on a day. For some reason I keep buying puzzles that give you a bit of a challenge and they're a bit complex and then I end up grinding my teeth, but I love it all the same. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. But yeah, so what's your favorite fine art? painting that you've done then, can I ask? I'm curious. I'm curious to know what your favorite fine art painting was, Emma. Some more spots. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. I go through periods where I get a few bits. Then it's like it decides to go, no, nah, you're not getting any more for a little while now. <laughs> and then, then it's like grinding your teeth constantly. And it's like, mm, can't you just be nice to me? Puzzle like, nope. Can't do that. <laughs> You're getting a porter puzzle in case. Okay, American Gothic, is that like Anne Stokes and those sorts of ones? And sorry to hear that you're going to the hospital. I know what it's like. I've been through six surgeries on my ankles, um, one on the right ankle and five on the left. So, yeah, it's not. And the um, last three times I've stayed like, three days for one, five days for the next. The last one was like at least three weeks, three, four weeks in hospital. So, yeah, it was, shall we say, not the best, but at the same time, we do what we have to to be able to get better, I guess. We do. So I hope you can take your puzzles with you to the hospital. It would be nice if you're able to. Okay, that's good. Um, well, not good. Um, that you have to go for treatment for three times a week, but it's good that you're able to do the Mona Lisa puzzle and enjoy it. Um, yeah. So, um, which is your favourite? If you had to choose a favourite out of all those puzzles, which would be your favourite, do you reckon? About the Mona Lisa and everything else.
And if you were able to do a large puzzle, what size, I'm guessing it would be an art style puzzle, but what size, um, what would be the puzzle you would choose to do if you were able to do a large piece, can I ask? Yeah, that makes sense. Dialysis would be boring. Sorry to hear that you're having to wait on a transplant. Yeah. It's looking like for me that I could have a connective tissue disorder, according to my orthopedic surgeon and everyone. And we're trying to get diagnoses and everything, but it's kind of hard with COVID and being able to travel and all of that sort of stuff because I've got to avoid places and I'm pretty sure it would probably be fairly similar for you with having to avoid places and things and people and stuff like that due to COVID and the way things are currently. See you, Tracy. Hope your trip goes well. Have fun. Another piece down there. Yeah, thank you, Tracy. Thought it might have been a bit boring <laughs> because it's like I was kind of in a stuck spot. <laughs> but I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Have fun on your trip. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so what would be your dream large puzzle if you could do one, Emma? I'm just curious. when you're having fun. Yeah, we'll chat later, internet permitting Tracy. <laughs> I hope you have a good trip and safe trip and yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later, Tracy, for sure. I'll see you over on Facebook. Okay. Ooh, 
another sky piece. Oh, another sky piece. Yay! Piece. <laughs> Excuse me, talking to myself. <laughs> Just get so excited when I find a new piece sometimes. Particularly if it's a piece I've been looking for. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything that you want to ask Emma, feel free. I'm happy to try and answer things if you're interested in asking anything or if you want to ask anything. Or anyone who's there. Feel free to ask, and I'll answer as best I can. Where's the piece? Where's the piece? Where is the puzzle piece gone? Welcome to Who Was Just Joined. Good to see you on the channel. Hope you'll enjoy it. Just working on a puzzle. Um, well, the Ravens Verge at 18,000 piece Heavenly Sunset puzzle. And yeah. I think I'm making some progress. Maybe not huge amounts, but I'm making some, so that's what matters. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. I was just asking what's your favourite, um, what would be your dream puzzle if you could do a larger larger piece puzzle and that when you're better and stuff, what would be your dream puzzle to do? 
or if you have any questions or anything that you want to ask Emma, feel free. I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. But yeah, I was just curious what your dream puzzle and stuff would be. Look up the Educa around the world or the 42,000, or the, um, there's a Educa around the world which is 42,000 pieces and it's world landmarks, or there's also the Educa 33,600 I know of that's um, available, or there's the Life Puzzle as well which is 24,000. Like, it may not even be that, it may be like an 18,000 piece puzzle or something, but um, I know you like art puzzles, so it, I, know, I think there are some art puzzles in larger sizes, like 4,000 pieces, or I think there might be a 13,200 piece of some of the art piece ones from Clementoni. But yeah, just curious as to what your choice would be if you could get a larger puzzle kind of thing, but I don't think there's actually that many in the... Um, in the, I'm not sure if there's that many in the art styles, but what else do you like? Animals, landmarks, buildings, cityscapes, all of that sort of stuff, because you're saying you like art puzzles, so yeah, but. There are other ones that you like as well, or welcome to the channel, those of you that have just joined. I hope you'll enjoy it. Doing the best I can, or this puzzle tries to outlast me. <laughs> okay, I've got, I think, one Eurographics jigsaw to try in the future of a thousand piece. I haven't heard of that one, but I'll have to look it up and see. I'll have to look up the Lady of Shalott because, as I said, I don't have a lot of, I don't, I don't think I have any art ones, to be honest, right now, like art style ones. So I'll have to look it up in the future and see, have a look at some of them and see. Although I'm trying to cut back on buying, in all honesty. <laughs> I am, hasn't worked out quite yet, but I'm trying, trying my best, cut back, save a little, ah, there's another piece. Thank you. 
here. I've got one of those and I noticed the strange shapes. It was interesting and I was like, oh cool, it's a bit different to usual. I tend to get a lot of Ravensburger in mine, but I do think the, the unique shapes in that are cool when you sort of get them and when they work out. So yeah. Hmm. I've heard that Springbok also has, um, from what I've seen, Springbok also can have unique shapes in it as well. So yeah. Just stepping back for a minute to look and see because I'm kind of a bit sort of stumped on which pieces to go for next. I don't know, I'm hoping that it's clearer than yesterday's stream. I'm hoping you can see the puzzle pieces and that clear enough. Let me just check. Yeah, I think it's a bit clearer than yesterday. Okay, yeah. Well, you've got to get what you like anyway. Yeah, what's the Raven's version you do have, can I ask? Out of interest? Okay, fair enough, if you don't really like scenes, um, yeah. I probably should have real, well, no, I didn't know that, but yeah, um, everyone's sort of got their own favourites and stuff, I guess, and scenes or pictures or images and all of that, and yeah. So I'm guessing that means that um, art style or paintings are your favourite scenes to do then in puzzles. I'm guessing it is, just from what you said. Thank you. 
Okay. VW can be a newer graphics one. I'll have to look it up. I haven't actually done that one either. So, <laughs> yeah. Shame on me. I'm just going to change the music. Okay. Yeah. If you're enjoying it, then that's what matters in the end, I reckon. All that matters in the end is that you enjoy the puzzle or enjoy what you're doing. Because it's all worth it when you can enjoy and have fun with what you're doing. In my mind, Yeah, the VW Campbell one would probably be interesting, although I haven't heard of it. There's so many puzzles out there, I don't probably even know half of them. But I'm now trying to stop buying so much because I've bought so much that I just sort of need to cool it a bit and just use what I've got for now, <laughs> kind of thing. Do. I did see a spot that would fit into a spot and now I can't find it again. As per usual. Exactly what happens. You can never find the correct one when you need it. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess the art ones would be hard. That's kind of why I haven't gotten them yet because, well, obviously some of the ones that I do are hard too, but I sort of figured the art art style ones would be hard, so I sort of never really got them. So I guess it would be easy compared to your usual ones. Trying to think of what else I can say. Kind of lost the words. <laughs> Checking, I haven't dropped any puzzle pieces on the floor because that happens every now and then when they hook on my clothes.
Uh, over 300 I still haven't done. <laughs> I went on a bit of a splurge recently, which is why I'm now stopping buying because I've got that many and I've still got 40 plus pre-orders to come yet. So, um, yeah, I've still got quite a lot to do, yes, in my to-do pile that I've gotten. So, yes, guilty as charged. I do, I've got quite a lot to do. Yes, it is a lot. <laughs> Probably a little too many, but yes, and some of those are large puzzles. They are. Well, as you can see. <laughs> They are they're quite large. Okay. Uh, probably about fifty to sixty hours per quarter or per four thousand pieces. So that's how long it takes for it to be done. It's about 50 to 60 hours per 4,000 odd pieces, so I'm not sure about a 5,000 piece, it might take a bit longer, but I just do it slowly because with all my health stuff and that, I just can't sort of rush into it all because otherwise I could end up, like I've got to listen to my body and just do it as I can because otherwise I end up not feeling great, shall we say. So... Just do the best I can with it and I don't try to pressure myself or whatever with it all. Pretty much do. Just take things slow and steady, one day at a time. Yeah, sorry to hear that you're in kidney failure, but yeah, it sucks having health issues, but yeah, we can only do the best we can in the end, and just got to do our best to get as better as we can, and yeah, I'm kind of, with COVID at the moment, we're back in lockdown here in Victoria for uh, the third or the fourth time, maybe, and it's like they cancelled all the physio appointments and stuff and it's like physio is part of the thing that's been helping me to get better and improve and that. And um, then I had a call today saying, oh, um, that my physio appointment's going to go ahead anyway because um, 
and my physio is considered essential and necessary. And it's like, I sort of asked why, and they said, well, it's partly because you're coming out of surgery and stuff like that. And then um, I'm guessing it's also to do with the fact that they could have this connective tissue thing going on and I've got issues with blood pressure and all of that sort of thing. So, um, but they were typically shutting down even physios practicing here for a bit. And it's like, the physio is kind of the thing that's been allowing me to get, even though I'm not making huge steps of improvement and it's taking a very long time, it's kind of the thing that's been giving me the chance to try and get better and try and improve and it's kind of hard when things keep getting shut down and locked down and, yeah, it just makes it hard in the end. And yeah, and so I have days or days and days in a row where I'm just laying in bed or stuck in bed and I'm not doing anything and all of that. It's not fun and I guess you've probably experienced that too. But yeah, I hope, I hope in the end that you'll get your transplant and you'll feel much better after you get that. I really do because it really sucks being unwell all the time. From my experience, it really, really sucks. Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to close dialysis on you because that is that is necessary. <laughs> but yeah, so I've had it cancelled once before in the past and this time apparently they sent guidelines back out later on saying, Oh these people are considered essential, keep the services for them, so it's like Thank goodness, but at the same time it's like Yeah. I'm just really exhausted most days and stuff like that. And I'm getting really exhausted now, but just wanted to try and do a bit of this when I could. But I'm considering probably heading to bed soon because I'm just getting so exhausted. But I really enjoy doing this as I can and working around things and being able to talk to people and share it with people and share my progress and all of that. So, but yeah, I'm glad they don't cancel dialysis on you. Are you from Australia or somewhere else? Because I'm from Australia here. Oh, England. Yeah, I feel sorry for you in England. You've got it worse there. We've only just got the Australian, the uh, Indian variant here and that's been spreading. They had four cases or something today apparently, but they've put Victoria back into lockdown to try and circumnavigate it for seven days. And Yeah, I was just so relieved that in the end my physio appointment could continue because of, because of that. <laughs> like... I know we don't have it as bad here as other places because of the way it was managed and all of that, but at the same time, it's still frustrating and annoying. Like the last ankle surgery I had, that was put off by like nine, ten months just because we weren't allowed to cross the border to access my surgeon and all of that sort of stuff. And it's just, it really, really wasn't fun times. Yeah, COVID's making everything a lot harder for everyone with all the health stuff. Welcome to new person that's joined the channel. Have, hope you're having a good day or evening. 
But yeah, COVID's just making things really hard for everyone these days. In my opinion. Okay, that's good that everything's opening up in England. At one point, it, I heard England was quite hard hit kind of thing. So I'm glad that it's improved then. That's a good sign. That's a good thing. It is. Glad that it's improved over there. Oh, what's the Yorkshire variant? I haven't heard of it. Yeah, there have been people doing lockdown protests over here because they keep shutting us down and shutting us down and shutting us down. Opening back up, shutting us down. Businesses are struggling and not coping very well. <laughs> and people aren't happy. Me, I'm just kind of staying out of it and trying to stay well. I have been staying home a lot because of the surgery and my injuries and my health stuff anyway, but I just don't want to risk getting anything in the end. It's not worth it, in my opinion, to risk it. So, yeah, I'm just playing it safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. In my mind. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. They are making it up as they go along. Yeah. Like I see why they do the lockdowns, but at the same time it makes things hard. And yeah, it's just it's all a very frustrating process in some ways. It is.
Yeah, it makes sense to live life as normal as possible. It's a little hard to do that when you keep going back into lockdowns, but <laughs> but also just I'm not able to get out much because I've got ankle issues and hand and wrist issues and blood pressure issues and all the rest. So for me, it's not necessarily easy to go out and about all the time. So a lot of the time I just spend it at home, which is why I have home physio visits and all of that sort of stuff because I just, I'm not finding it easy to go out and about down the street or anything like that just because of the way my health is affecting me and the way it's gone downhill the last year or two and stuff like that. So i just got to do the best I can. But it's good to hear you're able to live life as normal as possible. It's a good thing. Okay, yeah, the mobility scooter would help. I have a wheelchair, but at the same time, it's just, I just don't have the energy to go out much, and I just, I get worn out very quickly. I'm getting worn out now, which is why I'm slowing down with the puzzle kind of thing. So once I get exhausted and worn out, it's like I just really start losing all my oomph, and I just need to go to bed and sleep kind of thing, and or else my blood pressure plays up and everything else plays up and it's just not not very fun to have to go through all of that. It's not, but I kind of I also at the same time I do enjoy doing some live streams and that as I can and because I've only just gotten this and I've been wanting think wanting to do it for a few years now and so yeah, now I can finally do it. Your kids have the friends in at the minute, do they? Oh, kids have their friends in EXT. Where's EXT? Is that Exeter or something like that? Or Oh, okay, yeah. No, that makes sense. Fair enough. Yeah. 
you know, you can't stop people from living their lives. They've still got to live their lives regardless of COVID kind of thing. We can't let it completely stop our social friends and going out and doing things and all of that. But, yeah, for me it's more my health that stops me from being able to do anything. But, yeah, I think I'm going to have to end it here anyway because I'm sort of getting really exhausted and I'm not really able to find much else currently. So I think I'm going to finish it up here for now and then I'm going to, well, I'll probably do some more tomorrow sometime, but, yeah, I think I just need to head to bed currently. So, yeah, I'm going to finish it up here. I hope you have a really good day in London and stuff and enjoy your time there and have fun and everything and, well, have as much fun as you can and enjoy your puzzles or anywhere else. And, yeah, I think I will, well, I will be back later. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to do a bit more puzzle or something on camera and, yeah, it'll be good. Um, yeah, I just need to go and rest now, so I'll see you later. Yep, you take care too. Emma, have fun or have a good day and enjoy your time with your family and make the most of it. Bye.